This is the reinforced concrete design spreadsheet. There are five sheets, namely the data page, results summary page, the calculation page, the case one calculation page, the case two calculation page, and the stirrups calculation page. As a user, you only need to input the values in the first page, which is the data page. The second page, the results page, will display the results. And the rest of the pages are for detailed calculations in cases where you need documentation and the calculation. As you can see, in the data page, you just need to input the design moment, design shear, length of beam, rebar, and concrete strengths. Then you need to try a rectangular beam section. You need to input the width, depth, and clear covering of the rectangular beam. Next will be the trial rebars. As you can see in the figure on the right side, the tensile bars can have two layers maximum. The first layer can have two different bar sizes. The second layer can only have one bar size. As for the compressive bars, only one layer is allowed and one bar size is allowed. Then the last one, you need to input the bar diameter of the stirrups you need to use. After adding data on each of the green cells here, you can now click the run analysis you will be transported to the results page. You can see now whether your trial section and rebars are ok as per ACI code and also whether the beam can carry the design moment. Stirrups requirement is also analyzed as well as the spacing if stirrups are needed. You can go back to the data page if you need to adjust some of the data here then click run analysis to view the corresponding results